All right, guys, the zombie has been resurrected. The zombie has been resurrected. Trump TV might be a go. So here's what they say in Raw Story. Trump Media Group plans TV streaming platform. Donald Trump's media group said Tuesday it will launch a streaming television platform, but its shares continue to tumble on Wall Street. The announcement came as 77-year-old former U.S. President Trump sat through a second day of jury selection in his historic criminal trial. No other ex-president in U.S. history has been hauled before a criminal court, and the trial in a Manhattan courthouse comes as scandal-plagued Trump is fighting to make a shock return to the White House in November. Trump is accused of falsifying business records in a scheme to cover up reports on the eve of the 2016 election victory that he had an extramarital affair with a porn star. By the way, this is one of many. People forget about the Karen McDougal one. Everybody remembers the Stormy Daniels one. Very few remember the Karen McDougal one. After winning a debut on Wall Street last month, Trump Media... Uh, after a winning debut on Wall Street last month, Trump Media and, and Technology Group shares have suffered a bruising retreat, denting the Republican candidate's wealth. The company has seen its market value plummet from around $11 billion to less than $3.2 billion based on its $22.97 share price during midday trading Tuesday on the NASDAQ. Shares that trade under the symbol DJT slid more than 12% during the day despite an announcement that the operator of Truth Social will add streaming television to the platform. DJT shares had taken a hit on Monday with a regulatory filing saying Trump's money-losing media company could issue more than $21 million more shares. Stream television content is expected to focus on news, religion, and family-friendly films and docu-series, or documentaries, I should say, according to the company. We're expected to move forward with the next big phase for Truth Social Chief Executive Devin Nunes. Remember that guy? Said in the release, we aim to provide a permanent home for high-quality news and entertainment that face discrimination by other channels and content delivery services. What does that mean? I think that's their way of saying we're going to do, like, Republican conservative stuff, unsurprisingly. The first phase of the rollout will involve adding streaming television to the Truth Social app with a standalone version released in the second phase, blah, 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 blah. This was the speculation back in 2015, 2016, that, look, Trump's running. He doesn't really think he can win. He's probably not going to win, but he's setting it all up so that when he's done, he can launch his own conservative network, Trump TV, right? And, um... Look, it was a good theory, and in fact, there there's real solid reporting that indicates that early on in the primary, Trump didn't think he could win. Um, but then as time went on, it became clear he could, and then he started taking it more seriously. But obviously, Trump TV didn't come to fruition in 2016 because he won. 2020, he lost. It would have been nice if he exited stage left, and if he did Trump TV at the time, that would have been fine. It would give me a lot of material to cover, I'm sure, because you know they'd hire a murderer's row of freaks and losers. Um... But now they're resurrecting it. Hey, they did uh, Truth Social. Now it's publicly traded. Let's expand. The way we're going to expand is Trump TV. And they're saying not even just news and politics. It's also other things that it, it'll it's sort of like what the Daily Wire's doing, right? How the Daily Wire has all their conservative stuff and they shove it down your throat while pretending that they're not. And you guys know, right? So, but here's the thing, guys. You do realize what this is, right? This shit is almost certainly not coming. And here's what this is really about. As Brian Krasenstein says here, I'm up 208% since I shorted DJT Trump media stock. Thank you, MAGA. And this is what this is what we got. Look at this. Ah, that was really loud. This is what we got. Look. This is what's going on with the stock. So remember, when he was, he's struggling for money, he's got to pay that fine, right? He wasn't able to secure a bond. He was looking for ways to, to cash in and, you know, they valued this company at $5 billion and his shares made it so he had billions. And then like immediately after, boom, total implosion, total collapse and is worth less and less and less. So what they're trying to do, what they're attempting to do, how the fuck do we shore up this company? Because remember guys, Truth, so Truth Social doesn't make a profit. They valued it at $5 billion. It lost tens of millions of dollars last year. They're not making any money. There's no plan to eventually make money. It's all a scam. So what they're trying to do to shore up the price is, oh, we got these amazing plans in the works. We're going to do Trump TV. It's going to be amazing. It's going to start over here. Invest in our company. Invest. And that's what this is. It's a Hail Mary pass to juice the stock numbers. It's a Hail Mary pass. But look, I don't think it's going to work. 
Because this, I mean, it, it sort of landed with a dud, right? And I think almost everybody's reaction, anybody who pays attention, almost anybody's reaction to this is going to be what I just said. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're just trying to shore up the stock. None of this is going to happen. This is just a desperate attempt to hang on. Like, we all see it. You guys are hemorrhaging money. You want to stop hemorrhaging money. By the way, I love how fake everything is. The idea that Truth Social was worth $5 billion. If that's worth $5 billion, my show is worth $2 billion. There you go. I mean, laughable, right? Absolutely laughable. But this is what's going on. And just put, put it in the mix with all your... I mean, this is a guy who was hawking $60 Bibles the other day. Trump vodka, Trump steaks, Trump the board game, Trump university. Like, it's all scam on top of scam within scam with a dash of fraud on the top, right? That's what we're looking at here. And so it's the Hail Mary pass. Is it going to work? I highly doubt it. Now, having said all that, I'll end on this note. I would love to see a Trump TV. I would love to see a Trump TV to compete with Fox News, where they're a 24-7 news and politics channel. And they just get just bring in the most psycho of the psycho conservatives you can find, the most hardcore MAGA you could find. Have them set, have them do, you know, whatever hour long shows. Copy the format of Fox News. I would love that because it would give me so much material. It would be glorious. It would do horrible things to the country, but it would it would be like hilarious at the same time. So I'd love to see it happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.